Also, a no correlation probably means no cause and effect. I'll say that with a lot of caveats, though. I've got actually four. So um, be careful if you see no correlation. I, um, there might be some confounding. What I mean, let me give you an example. You've got drug dose on the x-axis and survival in months on the y. So it looks like there's not really a correlation between drug dose and survival. This is the same data, believe it or not. Um, shows you how graphs can really, you know, Naomi, Naomi showed us a lot of examples of how, how graphs can, the way you display it really change things. So here I've added another variable though, and I've got um, high severity in the red, so people who are more severe got the higher dose. Makes sense, maybe the doctor said, hey, we gotta give these uh, patients a higher dose. And the low severity patients um, are in the black, so drug dose does have an effect, a, a big impact on survival. It's just um, an unbalance in the data made it, or a confounding if you want to say, um, a, a third variable, another way to say it, that made it look like there was no relationship. So no correlation doesn't necessarily mean no effect. You have to, or maybe another way of thinking about it is you have to account for all the variables. Okay, another example where there's an exception to this, no correlation means no causation. Um, radiation exposure, at the bottom we have dental x-ray, which is 0.01 MSVs, I should know that. But uh, point, <laughs> point 0.1 for chest x-ray, 0.4 for mammogram. So if you were gonna study the effect of radiation on cancer risk, and you just got a bunch of typical people and somehow measured how much exposure they had, Chances are, uh, well, we know there's a correlation, but if you don't get some extreme cases, you're probably not gonna see it. So um, if you are only looking at people who are both low some threshold of radiation exposure, there's probably gonna be no way you're really gonna see the relationship. So you have to be a little careful about these threshold cases. Also, um, this is one that I, I added myself here. Yeah, if you look at this top graph, what I have is a little experiment where I'm uh, looking at plant growth and I've got plants that all received almost no water and plants that received a lot of water and there's really no difference. There's no correlation between water and plant growth. But in the middle you can see, okay, well if we had collected data at moderate levels of watering, we'd see a big, uh, you know, a decent uh, growth on the plant. So there is a strong relationship, but you don't see it because you only looked at two data points and the relationship was quadratic. So that's another way you can miss out um, when there's no correlation, um, miss, a, miss a cause and effect. And the last one is um, a lot of times there's a lot of, a lot of noise in the system. You can't see the, the uh, cause and effect or correlation. Um, you know, an example I give here is prenatal vitamins and birth defects. So there may be a cause and effect relationship between vitamins reducing birth defects, but there's so much variation if you look at birth defect data that it might be hard to see that unless some very specific trial was run. <laughs>